Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be packing for my trip to Scotland. I am very excited. It is currently the day before we leave. We leave tomorrow evening, so I want to get everything as packed as possible besides obviously the stuff that I need to use tonight or tomorrow during the day. That way I have some time to figure out if I'm missing anything and I can also just kind of get that checked off my list because I like to be prepared and have things ready to go. So yeah, that is what we are going to be doing. I'm going to be taking a carry-on bag, a checked bag, and a personal item. I'm using this little wheelie guy as my carry-on. If you saw the plan and prep with me video, you would know that I was originally thinking of taking a duffel bag as my carry-on, but then I ended up having to drive our dog Murphy back to Cleveland so my family could watch him while we're gone. And my mom was so kind to let us take some carry-on bags. So have some wheelie ones, they are very nice. Very excited to use those. I think I'm gonna do the carry-on first and try to fit as many of my clothes in here as possible and just see where we're at. Earlier today, I actually tried on a bunch of different outfits and took pictures of them trying to figure out which ones I would want to take on the trip. So I have an entire little album on my phone of all of the outfits I decided on. So I'm going to pack those, see how they fit, see if they all fit, and then we'll go just go from there. Also, it was very difficult to plan outfits for this trip because the weather while we're going to be in Scotland is going to be like mid to low 60s the entire time, which seems really nice. However, it's been so warm here that I don't remember like what kind of outfits are going to be appropriate for that weather. I don't know if I'm going to need like an extra jacket or long sleeves or a sweatshirt or if short sleeves and pants is gonna be fine. So had to do a lot of, I don't know, soul searching to figure out what would be appropriate for all this weather. But I, I think I got these outfits down pretty good. <laughs> Okay, all of the outfits are now packed and they fit honestly pretty good. I was expecting to maybe have to put some jackets or my raincoat into the checked bag, but it all fits. I still need to add underwear, socks, bras, pajamas. Haven't figured out what I'm going to wear for pajamas yet. Maybe I'll wear like sweatpants on the plane that I'll then use as pajamas. I don't know, but a couple more things to add in here. And then I think the checked bag will be good to go. All right, so that's it for the carry-on. Now I'm going to move on to the checked bag. I think this is probably going to be mostly empty, honestly. It's gonna have some stuff like any liquids that we're taking, shampoo, conditioner, stuff along those lines and then we'll also put some snacks in there but we're really taking this so that we know we have extra space for all the souvenirs and shirts and sweatshirts we're no doubt going to buy while we're in scotland so this is going to be interesting because i don't have any other clothes to put in here i think right now all that I can load up is snacks. So let me show you what different snacks we have. I went to Costco and just got these so that we can take them just when we leave for the day or if we go on a bus tour just in case we get hungry so that we don't have to buy every single thing that we eat when we're over there. And hopefully it'll save us a little bit of money or at least make sure we don't get hangry at all because I'm sure we're going to be doing a lot of walking and out and about and stuff like that. So we got some fruit and nut bars, some Belvita biscuit things, some peanut butter dark chocolate granola bars, these like rice roller things, 
fruit bars, and then a big thing of Cheez-Its as well. So I'm gonna put some of these, we're not gonna take all of this, I'm gonna put some of these into some Ziploc bags, put those in the checked bag, and then figure out what the heck else needs to go in there, because I feel like I'm forgetting something right now. some clothes in here just for cushioning or I need to add weight to this I don't know if it all right I'm also going to throw some at home COVID tests into our checked bag these are the ones that we are going to be using in order to get back into the US these are accepted so I'm gonna put some in there and then I think I'm also going to take a couple two more that are just more accessible just in case something goes wrong or we need to take another test just so we can have them in case we need to do something at the airport i don't know i also want to take them just in case when we take them in scotland to get back into the u.s if there's an error or something goes wrong i want to have a couple extras so i'm gonna put these either in my personal item or maybe i'll i think i even have room in my carry on so I'll assess that situation too. I'm going to move on to my personal item because right now I can't think of anything else that I need to put in the checked bag. So I have two different bags that I might use for my personal item. One is a bit bigger, one's a bit smaller. The airline that we're flying on has a pretty small size for a personal item, but I don't think I think if the big one isn't jam-packed it should still fit so I'm going to pack what I need and then see which one it'll fit in better so right now what I have is all of our documents I really wanted to print everything that we needed just because I don't know it, it makes me feel better just in case my phone stopped working or if I don't have Wi-Fi and can't pull up an email, I have our COVID tests printed, our passenger locator forms, our hotel information, our train information. We're taking a train from Edinburgh to Inverness. So I have all of that here. That's going to go in my personal item. I have those extra COVID tests, extra masks. I'm taking a book that I'm currently reading, a notebook. I have some camera gear. I want to try and get all of my camera gear into my personal item. I have extra batteries, SD cards, a tripod. I think I might take an extra lens or a different lens that will let me zoom in more so that when we're on train rides or bus rides, we can get some good shots of the scenery. So I'm going to pack all of that stuff up. I will also be taking... A laptop and then probably some chargers in there too but I think I need to wait on packing those I'll probably also put like jewelry in there so those are the things that I'm going to work on packing now I think I'm gonna start with I don't know if I should start with the smaller bag or just start with the bigger one I guess I'll start with the smaller one and see see if it's overflowing or not <laughs> think the smaller bag is going to work just fine. I obviously haven't put my camera in there yet or my laptop or my chargers so we'll see tomorrow once I pack all of those things where we are at but oh I also want to make sure I want to bring this drawstring bag. Um, I want to put that in my carry-on so that we have it and we can take snacks when we go on tours or just walking around since my purse isn't too, too big. But I think that's everything that I can pack at the moment. Tomorrow, I'll do all of my toiletries, my contact stuff, my shower stuff, 
um, toothbrush, toothpaste. Most of that will go in the checked bag, but I think my contacts and maybe toothbrush will go in my personal item just so I have them. Since we are traveling overnight, I don't think I'll wear my contacts, but if I want to pop them in when we drop our stuff off at the hotel, I just want to have those accessible. So I think I'm going to stop it there for now and then we'll pick up again, again tomorrow morning. Hi everyone, it's the next day and I'm realizing this video, the entire video, my hair is wet because I'm filming right after I showered both times. Also, sorry if the washing machine is loud in the background. We're trying to get one more load of wash in before we leave. But I just got together everything else that I can pack. I have all of my shower stuff here. I have my like skincare, deodorant, some hair stuff. This is all going to go in the checked bag. Then we have a bunch of chargers. I think these are gonna go in Scott's personal item, but I'm just kind of collecting them all so we make sure we have everything accounted for. Have a little hand sanitizer and contacts, which will go in my personal item just in case we need them. Sunglasses, the little wallet that I'm taking that's going to have my credit card and debit card. We have our passports and vaccine cards are still over there, so we need to pack those. And then this is what is left on my list. I obviously will still need to pack the laptop, but I actually want to get this video edited before I do that. I need to, my headphones are charging, so I'll need to grab those. There's a couple other chargers that we can't quite pack yet, but we're pretty much good to go at this point. So this is where I'm going to end this video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more from me, especially if you want to see the Scotland vlogs. And yeah, follow me on Instagram for sneak peeks and day-to-day -day content. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!